Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. There is a ladder 5 meter long leaning against a wall. The bottom of the ladder is pulled along the ground away from wall at some rate. We have to find how fast the height of the wall on the wall decreases when the foot of the ladder is 4 meter away from the wall. Just reading the question, you won't be able to understand what the question is all about. You have to visualize this. So let's take this figure. This is my wall, right? And this is my ladder. The question is saying that a ladder is 5 meter long. So this guy is my 5 meter. Correct? The whole length is 5 meter. The bottom of the ladder is pulled along the ground. So there is a force from here. There's a push from here. So this guy is moving in this direction at the rate of this is 2 cm per second. Correct. The question is how fast is the height of the wall decreasing? Because the moment you pull this guy, the now the new lateral position will be something like this. Correct. If you pull the ladder like this, the new lateral position is like this. So if you are pulling in this way, the height is also decreasing. Correct. So the question is, how fast is the height of the wall decreasing? So if this is, let's suppose X and this guy's whole thing is Y, whole thing is Y. So the question says DX by DT is 2 cm. For a second, we have to find DY by DT. That is the question. And this, if you want, you can represent this in the form of a right triangle. This is my ladder. Ladder is 5 cm. This is my wall. This is x, not exactly wall. The distance from this point to down, this x, it is changing because uh, it's going down. So this is changing. And this is y. That is the distance of border, uh, the bottom of the ladder from the wall. Correct? So. And with this, since it's the right triangle, I have one equation. The first thing that comes to our mind is x square plus y square is equal to 25. So I have dx by dt, I have to find dy by dt. Correct? And I am told that x square plus y square is equal to 25. So how to do this? See, so what we can do here is, if we can find right y in terms of x, I can say dy by dt. For example, y if I write in terms of x, y is nothing but root of 25 minus x square. This is the value of y I have. Correct? The same thing I rewrote. Now if I differentiate this guy y with t, both sides with t, dy by dt is nothing but d of root of 25 minus x square by dt. Correct? This is the value. And now let's differentiate this guy with respect to t. So this is nothing but 25 minus x square to the power 1 by 2. Correct? So this will become 1 by 2 into root of 25 minus x square into x square you differentiate you becomes minus 2x into dx by dt. This is what you get. This is nothing but 1 by 2 and 2 cancel minus of x. What is the value of x? 4. Because it is told that we have to find this rate of change where x is equal to 4. So x is 4 by root of 25 minus 4 square 16 into dx by dt is we know 2. Correct? dx by dt is 2. So this becomes minus 4 by this becomes 9 root 9 is 3 into 2 that is minus 8 by 3 and it's all in meter per second so this guy is meter per second please note there is a flaw here this has to be meter per second because all the unit has to be same right this is meter this is meter so this guy also has to be meter per second or we have to 
convert this guy into meter per second. If this two centimeter per second, you need to make it two by hundred meter per second. But let's assume this is meter per second to make our life simple, because that's what I have assumed here. So let's take one more example. The question says a particle moves along the curve six y is equal to x cube plus two. We have to find the points in the curve at which the y coordinates are changing eight times as fast as x coordinate. So we have some curve. Let's suppose this is a curve, and the curve is six y is equal to x cube plus two. So this is my curve. Six y is equal to x cube plus two. Now in this curve, there's a particle which moves along this curve. Correct. We have to find the point. Point. x y is a point where the rate of change in y coordinate is eight times the rate of change in x coordinate with respect to t because it is moving right so time is there so the the second thing is like dy by dt is eight times dy dx by dt this is what the statement says uh, the y coordinate is changing eight times as fast as x coordinate that means dy by dt is eight times dx by dt so i have two equations And what I have to do? I have to find the value of x and y for which this is true. So what I can do is I can convert this guy, my first equation, into this form. How I can just differentiate the whole thing with respect to t. So this is nothing but d of six y by dt is equal to d of x cube plus two by dt. So what I have done, I have differentiated this equation both side by t. So this is nothing but six into dy by dt is equal to this becomes three x square into dx by dt. And when you differentiate two with t, it's constant, so it becomes zero. This is what you get. Now I am told that I have this equation. So using this equation number two. I can eliminate this part, right? So I can write dy by dx is nothing but eight into dx by dt. So dy by dt is nothing but eight into dx by dt is equal to three x square dx by dt. This gets cancelled. So what do you get? You get three x square. Or three and two also cancel. You can cancel. You get x square is equal to sixty, or you get x is equal to plus minus four. Correct. So I have two cases where x equal to four and x equal to minus four. In both the case, I have to find the value of y. So y, I'll write no. Y is nothing but x cube plus two by six. Correct. So in case one. In case one, x is equal to plus four. My y is equal to plus four whole cube plus two by six. Correct. So this is nothing but uh, four plus four four into four into four sixty four plus two sixty six by six. That is eleven. In case two. I have x is equal to minus four, so here y is nothing but minus four q plus two by six. This is minus sixty four plus two. This is minus sixty two by six. Minus sixty two by six, and there is nothing but minus thirty one by three. So this is the value of y. So I have two set of solution for this. That is, x is uh, Plus four, four and y is eleven, and the second is minus four and minus thirty one by three. So these are two sets of x and y for which this condition is true. 
So the question says find the points. So there are two points actually, point one and point two, for which this condition is true that d y by dt is a times d x by dt. So what we have done, we have this equation and we have this equation. So just to use this equation, I differentiated the first equation with respect to t. I got equation where dy by dt and dx by dt terms were there. I used the values from equation 2 to simplify it and I got the value of x to be plus minus 4. Once I have the value of x, I easily get the value of y. Let's take one more example. So the question says a balloon, this is the balloon actually, which is spherical always, has a variable diameter. This is my diameter of this is guy. And diameter is this. So this is the diameter I can say radius is half of this. So I'll say radius is nothing but 3 by 4, 2x plus 1. So this is the radius of this sphere. And this is variable actually because there's an x component which is variable. The question is saying find the rate of change of volume that is dv with respect to change in x dx. So I have to find dv by dx. Correct? Where r is variable. So the first thing that to find volume. Volume is nothing but 4 by 3 pi r cube and that is nothing but 4 by 3 pi 3 by 4 into 2x plus 1 whole cube. Correct? This is my volume and if you see this volume this is a term that is in form of x. So when I say dv by dx what I'm saying is this guy. So if you solve this further I think you get uh, 3, 3 cancel this becomes 9 and this becomes 16. So this becomes 9 by 16 pi 2x plus 1 whole cube. Correct? This, this itself we solve. I can show you 4 by 3 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 pi 2x plus 1 cube. Correct? This gets cancelled. So 9 by 16 pi 2x plus 1 cube d of this by dx. Correct? So this is nothing but if you solve this you get 9 by 16 is constant pi is constant. This whole cube is nothing but 3 into 2x plus 1 whole square, correct? x to the power n becomes n x to the power n minus 1 into again differentiation of 2x that is 2. I am using the chain rule. If you are not understanding how I have done this, please watch my previous videos. There I explained previous chapter videos actually where I explained how to uh, differentiate such kind of uh, equations. So this is what I get. And if you solve this, this is nothing but 27 and this gets cancelled by 8 by 2x plus 1 square and that is my answer. That is nothing but rate of change of volume with respect to x. So in this case the unit was not defined so we could not give a unit and that is the answer. So what I have done? I knew the radius is dependent on x. I was supposed to find dv by dx. I wrote v in form of x. Just differentiate it v with respect to x. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.